Today I would like to teach you how to do a simulation of a rotating disk in a VRealm environment, which is virtual environment built in into Simulink. Uh, in order to simulate our disk, I will just quickly explain what are we dealing with, with today. So we have a rigid body, a disk connected to the shaft, which you cannot see on this picture because this is a top view. Uh, we also have a little bit uh, a small element that's sticking out which allows us to connect it to the outside environment using a spring uh, because the disk is has a mass it has also a moment of inertia j1 uh, because it is connected to the shaft it has a viscous friction dump uh, damping coefficient c1 and also we are dealing with with um, viscous friction outside uh, that's why we have C2. We define our coordinate system theta1 in the clockwise direction, which allows us to, to write the below um, equations of motion, which we'll use in, to define, uh, to derive our transfer function of the system. Um, here you have to present it the parameters I'm using for this system. You can play around and see the changes in the behavior of the system depending on, on those parameters. Uh, from MATLAB we are opening Simulink and here on the main, uh, on the biggest square you can see the transfer function derived from the equations I showed you before uh, and this is the, the main component of our simulation because it shows how does the system behave. We, in order to, for our simulation we are going to be using an um, impulse signal so we use a step block with those parameters and then we also use an inverse step block with those parameters and that allow us to give a force with a magnitude of uh, I mean sorry torque of a magnitude of 0 0.8 for very short period of time and shake the behavior of our system uh, because the output of this transfer function is theta dot which is, uh, we want to transfer it into the theta and I also want to display it in the degrees because it's more intuitive for me to understand what's happening in a system. That's why I multiply our signal that's in radians uh, by 180 divided by pi, which, transfer, which transfers it into degrees. Um, so, for example, if we run the system, uh, we can see that this is the behavior we are going to get. Um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to build the virtual environment model and how to how to proceed from there so make sure to check it out